Good morning, ladies. I actually have a little makeup on this morning because it's pitch dark at 6.30. The last time I came out here to the trail at 6.30, the gators were talking to me and things were moving in the night, and I'm not that brave. <laughs> so I took my shower, and now we're out here with the pups. In any case, welcome to week three. Yay! So today, I'm going to just get right to it. I wanted to talk about fear and perfectionism and things of that nature. So today, I don't care if you text it, email, put it here, put it on Marco Polo privately. I don't care where you put it, but I would like you to um, give me three of your fears about either reintroduction or food freedom. And I want you to send those to me and then we'll discuss them. I have my retainer in, sorry, so I'm going to lisp a little bit. We will discuss them, but I also want you to do the, the why exercise. So I want you to just write it down with no judgment. Just write down what it is. Then take a look and start asking yourself why. And we will, we will get into that. Now... Understand that perfectionism is just fear in disguise. So when you're in your food freedom and, you know, you're going about your day, you're still doing your three meals a day, you're still using your, um, your protein, fat, veggie template, but you're adding in non, the, the non-reactive foods, okay? So you're still using your Whole30 template, you're just adding more in. Now, if you have a bad day and you don't do so well, are you the type that's going to be just like, screw it, uh, you know what, I'm just going to write off this day, or I'm going to write off this week, or I'm going to write off this month, and I'll start fresh and clean. If you're one of those people, that's fear and perfectionism. Your food freedom's not going to be perfect. Your days are not going to be perfect. Nothing's ever going to be perfect. As we all know, things get thrown at us time and time again. So I want you to realize that you need to put rules in place to catch yourself if that's who you are. So if you do have something that's out of your wheelhouse or not nutritious or you just know is a bad choice because you're reactive or whatever, my dog is disgusting. It's rolling and everything. Um, if that happens to you, and it's going to happen to you sooner or later, you have to have rules in place to combat that. So if you have the ice cream, then know that the next meal you have is going to be Whole30, very compliant. Um, you know, it can also be your food freedom meal, but you're going to have a good meal. You're not going to roll one bad choice into another bad choice, which all of a sudden becomes a month which all of a sudden becomes three months, which all of a sudden becomes a year. That's not what we're going to do. You are going to put systems in place, your own personal sim systems, your own personal systems in place to catch you, a safety net, if you will, because there's no room for fear or perfectionism in nutrition, and there's no room for that in fuel. And there's really no room for that in life. I mean, I know people like to say, I can't let things go until they're perfect. Well, there's nothing wrong with being proud of your work or proud of, you know, something. But we all know when we get to a place when it's good enough, but then we start nitpicking it. And that's fear. So I don't want you to be in that spot. I want you, get my unicorn hair here. I want you to be so comfortable in your skin that when you make a bad choice, and you will, that you then follow it up with three or four good choices. And then that keeps you riding your bike forward, as we will say. Okay? I hope that makes some sense. So I want your list of three fears, and they don't need to be rational, they just need to be yours. And we will talk about that. Um, 
Maybe you have six fears. Write them down. If you're feeling it, just keep writing. Because we need to get through this mindset piece this week so that you come out into reintroduction knowing full well how good you feel when you're taking good care of yourself and how you don't feel how bad you feel or how not great you feel when something is triggering to your body. And that can be emotionally, that can be um, physiologically. For instance, sugar doesn't really give me a physical response. Like I don't get sick. I might get a sugar rush, but I don't get sick per se like I do with gluten. But I sure as shit will wake up at two in the morning with anxiety for no reason. And that's what sugar does to me. So you're going to take that two weeks or more and we're going to find out how those things treat your body. And then once you have that information, you're going to build yourself a food freedom plan. And I'm going to do that with you. And we will also build you a reset plan because it will happen. And a reset is very much different than being on whole 30 round after round after round. So we're going to talk about that. Um, If you need to do a whole 60, we can talk about that too. But we need to discuss, are you doing it because you need to biologically and, and you need to do it for your body? Or are you doing it because you're scared to get into reintroduction and food freedom? If you're scared, don't be, because I'm here for you. And just so you guys know, there's never a time where I won't coach you. You are mine forever and always now. So six months down the road, if you need some help, I'm your girl. That's why I have the Facebook group with the alumni. Because we always keep in touch. And, you know, like I talk to Kara and Shayna and Sandy every week about things that they're doing. And, hey, what about this? What do you think about this? So understand that I am here for you. And it's not going to be, okay, you're done with reintroduction and now off you go. I mean, I may not check. I don't, I'm not going to check in with you daily. But if you need me, I'm here. If you need any little thing, you're mine now. If you need something, you let me know. So I want to make sure that you guys aren't scared. Um, I want you to know that I'm there for you. Okay, so if you do have some problems with anything, we'll work them out together. Okay? All right, I think that's probably enough for this morning. And have a happy Monday, happy week three. And let's do this, okay? Talk to me. Bye.